Hello, dear. A uh, few more MCQs from Unit One. This is all uh, easier question, dear. Uh, see, the regular expression x plus y denotes the set. We already discussed, right? Uh, like regular expression, it has three operations. One is union, concatenation, and flow show. So when it is x plus y, it actually means either x or y. Okay. So when it is just x. Plus y, it means that set consists of x or y category. It is a union operation, so option C, C is the correct option. Okay, so epsilon comes when there is an closure star included. Okay, this is just a normal x or y, so it is x comma y. And uh, <clears throat> second question is deterministic finite automata can be constructed for uh, deterministic finite automata. It might be uh, it is DFA. All finite automata, DFA or NFA or epsilon NFA. So everything can be constructed for a regular expression. That is a representation for regular grammar. Okay. So for a regular grammar, we can construct either DFA, NFA, or epsilon NFA. And even <coughs> regular expression is a way of representing regular grammar. Okay. So the question might be anything. In a swapping of it, they may ask uh, regular grammar. Uh, what like well, which machine accepts regular grammar? Okay, so all those things can be given. Okay, a deterministic finite automata can be constructed for regular expression, only regular grammar. Okay, and the minimum number of states required for constructing a deterministic finite automata for the language a power n and n is greater than or equal to four. So we already see what is power of an alphabet, right? Like when it is an uh, a to the power two, it means that two a's occurs. Okay, so it is number of repetition of that element to the power of actually means the number of repetition. So as per the given question, it is a power n and n value is greater than or equal to four. So a minimum it takes four value. Okay, four a's will be there. Sorry, n actually uh, n it takes four value minimum of, and when n is equal to four, the input is four a's. Okay, so the minimum input accepted by the uh, deterministic finite automata is four a's, and uh, to check this four a's. Okay, since count matters over here, so to check four a's, how many states are needed? First a is checked, but first possible transition and one more state is added to check the next input is a and one more for checking whether third a is there and one more state to check whether four a's is there okay so this will be the starting state minimum four a's should be there one two three four and later on you may have more number of a's okay so this is the dfa that is expected uh, a to the power of four, so four number of a should be there, and more than four, either four or more than four. Okay, so this is the DFA for the uh, given example. To process four input, we need one, two, three, four, and five. Five states: one, two, three, four, five. So the minimum number of states required to process the input, like always check with the minimum possible input and based on to process the minimum possible input, if n is the minimum possible input, then n plus one state is needed for processing, processing that input. Okay, so the minimum number of input needed for this category is four A's. So we need four plus one, five number of states for processing. Okay, so the answer for this question is five. Thank you.